Pisces, like a snake shedding its old skin, you guys are going to be reborn this month. There's a heavy emphasis on your first house, your house of self. So you guys are obviously going to be doing a lot of personal work and personal development. A lot of you are gonna be doing some shadow work too, which is great because there is a lot of positivity coming your way. And it's no bullshit, it's for real. You've got some great stuff in the future, but you just gotta get over this initial hump. Want to know more? Keep watching and I'll explain all about it. Pisces, it's your girl Mel of Divine Feminine Works, and as always, I hope that this video finds you well and in excellent spirits. If you're new here, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. This channel is everything tarot, astrology, and spirituality, so if those are the things that interest you, don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well as that notification bell, so you'll always be notified when I come out with new content. First things first, happy birthday, Pisces. It is still your season. Celebrate life turn up and get ready for another revolution around the sun. I sincerely hope that this new year for you brings you everything that your heart truly desires. So again, happy birthday. All right, Pisces, so this is going to be the astro forecast and tarot scope for you for the month of March 2021. I have to say that generally speaking, I really like the astrology of this month. It's rather chill. There isn't a lot of craziness going on. All planets are going forward and moving direct, so there's no retrograde energy. It's almost like you can kind of get on with life without so many... Um, outward and external distractions or interruptions. So it's pretty chill. Now there are going to be moments and days where uh, the emotional intensity is going to be turned up a little bit, but it's nothing you can't handle. And it's definitely nothing like we've experienced in the recent past. So relax a bit this month and um, do a lot of inner work, especially you Pisces, because this month you have an emphasis on your first and second houses. So really this month is all about you. Obviously at the beginning of the month, it's still Pisces season. The sun is still in Pisces and in your first house of self. So it's really gonna be focusing on you. Like I said, whether it's personal development, whether it's changing your looks, whether it's just working on personal goals that you have, the focus is obviously all about you. And then once every season rolls around on March 20th, that's when your focus and your consciousness is going to shift to your second house of money and material possessions. So at that time, it's gonna be about making money moves, it's going to be about securing the bag, getting your finances in order, acquiring assets, or just focusing on things that you find valuable, whether it's your self-esteem, whether it's friendships, whether it's relationships, obviously that's up to you, but that's where your focus will shift come Aries season, all right? So now let's talk about the moon. So we have a new moon in your sign of Pisces on March 13th, and we have a full moon in the sign of Libra on March 28th. So first things first, let's talk about the new moon. Obviously, the new moon is all about setting new intentions and planting new seeds. With this new moon happening in your first house of self, this is the time to set intentions related to personal goals, whether it's weight loss, whether it's your appearance, whether it's your outlook on life, anything that's personal to you, you're going to want to set those intentions with that new moon in your sign of Pisces, again, happening on March 13th. So now let's talk about the full moon, which is happening in Libra, which is your eighth house of transformation, sex, and shared resources. The full moon shows you the culmination of things that happened in the past. So think back to the Libra new moon six months ago, and this was also happening in your eighth house of transformation. Think about the seeds that you planted at that time. Now at the Libra full moon this month, you're gonna see the culmination of those things, whether it's for better or for worse. The full moon also illuminates things that have been in the dark, and particularly, this is 
particularly with this going down in Libra, it's going to highlight where you've been um, experiencing imbalance in your life, where the scales have been imbalanced. And with this being in your house of shared resources, you may see this dichotomy between resources that you share with someone such as a spouse or maybe um, other people's money, if it has to do with loans, taxes, etc on one side, and then on the other side, you're gonna see your personal finances and how there may be an imbalance between those two. The point of the full moon is to bring your attention to this imbalance so you can address it and sort of find a happy medium. So again, that's going down in your eighth house of transformation and shared resources. So that's where you're gonna to wanna to do some work by the end of the month. All right, so now let's move on to Mars because Mars is making a transit this month into the sign of Gemini. So back on uh, March 3rd, you know, I'm filming this after the fact, Mars made its way into Gemini. And as such, Mars and Gemini is very much the multitasker. That sort of, you know, a lot of ideas, a lot of communication, trying new things, learning a lot of new things, being very social, being opinionated with people, all of that good stuff. And for you, Pisces, this was going down in your fourth house of home and domestic affairs. So what that means is that when it comes to your home, when it comes to your familial relationships, I feel like you're going to want to start, you're going to want to start a million and one home improvement projects. You may be someone who's into real estate and you're looking to purchase several properties. Maybe you want to learn about real estate and you're taking a whole bunch of different courses. When it comes to your familial relationships, like your parents or your grandparents, if you find that you need to have an important conversation with them, Mars and Gemini is going to give you that oomph and it's gonna give you that courage to stand up, speak your truth, say what's on your mind and, um, fight for what you believe in. So you're gonna see a lot of activity and get like a turbo boost of energy when it comes to your home and domestic affairs. And again, that happened back on March 3rd and Mars will remain in Gemini for the next couple of weeks. So keep that in mind. Moving right along, we get to Mercury. You know, Mercury makes a move every month. Sometimes a Mercury will be in two signs in one month. For this month, Mercury is gonna transit into Pisces on March 15th. Now, Mercury is very much a cerebral sign. It rules communication, it rules ideas. It's very logical, right? But when it's in Pisces, Mercury tends to be very creative. So you're thinking creatively, you're listening to your intuition more, and you're speaking more from your emotions and your heart more so than your brain, okay? And so for you, this is going down in your first house. And what I love about this for you in particular is that you guys tend to sort of communicate like that anyway. You guys are a very emotional sign. You guys are very much tapped into your intuition and your sensitivities. What's great about this is now everyone is gonna be on your level. So being on understood and expressing yourself may be a bit easier for you even though Mer even though mercury is in detriment in pisces so its energy is sort of weakened it's like the level the playing field is leveled for you and everyone is going to be able to understand you better everyone's going to be speaking a lot more creatively imaginatively and everyone's going to be tapped into their intuition and their sensitivities a lot more so you're going to feel more comfortable expressing yourself and getting your point across all right and then finally, let's talk about Venus because Venus is going to be moving into Aries on March 21st. And for you, this is your second house of money and material possessions. So now with Venus and Aries, you guys are going to be motivated to start new money-making projects, new money-making endeavors. You guys are going to be motivated with respect to how you feel about certain things that you value. It's like you're going to get a turbo boost of energy when it comes to, um, your second house of money and material possessions. Venus also rules relationships. So with this transit going into your second house, I feel like you're gonna be motivated to sort of link up with people that you value, who share the same values as you, or link up with people who are gonna able, who are going to be able to help you start these new money-making endeavors and these new financial projects. So keep an open mind and uh, keep the lines of communication open because someone who may be beneficial to you in that regard may just show up towards the end of the month. All right, Pisces, so that's the astro forecast for you for March 2021. If you'd like to know more, I'm gonna put the link to the monthly and weekly horoscopes in the description box below. So check those out and read for your sun, moon, and rising signs, all right? So now that we've gotten the astrology out of the way, let's get into the tarot and see what messages Spirit has for you for this month. 
All right, Pisces, so as usual, we'll start out with the Oracle cards for an overarching and broad message, and then we'll circle back in with the tarot for some more specifics. Yeah, for some more specific stuff. <laughs> All right, so the first card out, ooh, we've got boundaries. So this is pretty self-explanatory. We all know that we have to set healthy boundaries. And that's particularly important for you, Pisces, because you guys tend to be very selfless. You guys are the sign of like being of service to others, being of service to humanity, unconditional love, sensitivity, all that good stuff. And as the sign Pisces is symbolized by the two fish like swimming in the ocean, the ocean is boundless, right? So a lot of times we tend to just give, 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 and just give of ourselves to the extent that we can. And a lot of times we don't set healthy boundaries. I say we because I'm a Pisces moon. And so I understand all too well what it's like to be in that Pisces energy on a regular basis, right? And so this month in particular, especially as you start a new revolution around the sun, it's time for you to set some healthy boundaries and be a little, it's almost like what I'm, I'm, I was about to say, be a little ferocious with it, right? Um, it's almost like because you're at, you're at the opposite, you're at one extreme of the spectrum, right? You know, boundless giving of yourself selflessly. It's almost like now you've got to go to the opposite end of the spectrum in order to achieve that balance. So you've got to be ferocious in setting your boundaries. It's not just like, oh, okay, let me just put up this little fence or whatever. No, this is like, bitch, don't cross me. <laughs> if you step over that line, you've got to protect your territory at all costs. So spirit is like, I really need you to set those boundaries this month. I really need you to be um stringent with that. All right. Next, we've got unfinished business. All right, interesting. What number is this? This is a 28. So this is a new, this reduces to a 10, which reduces to a one, which is a new beginning. So some of you have something from the past that you're going to be revisiting. In this new revolution around the sun, in this new year for you, there is some unfinished business that you need to tend to. And like I was saying in the astrology section, Pisces season is usually where you tie up loose ends. That's the end of the astrological new year not new year. It's the end of the astrological year. It's like our December, right? But there's something that's going to be carrying over into this new year for you that you need to address. This could be with a woman or this could be with you. I'm really getting more so that this is you. Not to say that, you know, anyone who's watching who is, you know, identifies with masculine energy, like it doesn't have to do with you. I'm just saying for a lot of you, it's like working on yourself, particularly with this emphasis on your first house. There's certain personal development issues that are going to carry into this new year that you're still going to be working on. And I think that's why it's so essential to set these boundaries. And boundaries could be one of those things related to your personal development that needs addressing as you move forward and as we start this new astrological year this month. Oh, we've got let go. Okay, interesting. Sorry about the glare on this side. So yeah, this is self-explanatory. Let go. It's time to let certain things go. We're going to get into the tarot and see maybe what this has to do with. All right. And then we've got look for a sign. Now, normally I only pull three of the Oracle cards, but I guess because it's your birthday, it's your season, the spirit gave you an extra card. So this extra card is look for a sign. And again, self-explanatory. There's a lot of personal development that you guys still need to do. Part of it is setting boundaries. Another part is letting go of certain things. And I feel like that is sort of those two things, right? Setting boundaries, releasing certain things. Those are ongoing cycles. It's not like we get to Pisces season where we're tying up loose ends. We sort of do the work and then we're done. Everything is cyclical, especially personal development and ascension. It's like, you, you complete one level only to get to a new level and sort of do the same work. Shadow work, inner work, whatever you call it, is an ongoing process, all right? So keep that in mind. I don't want you to think that just because you've done the work before that everything is done. No, that's not necessarily how it works. But again, I feel like there's, you see how this like lightning bolt is sort of just coming out of the sky so suddenly? I think whatever sign you get is going to be very direct and it's going to be sudden, like you're not going to expect it. I mean, maybe you will because I'm telling you, look for a sign. But I also feel like it's going to be something sudden and unexpected. But you'll know it when you see it for sure. All right. So let's get into the tarot and see what else we've got here for you, Pisces. Okay. 
Okay, first card out, we've got the devil. All right, so if we're talking about letting things go, this could be with respect to addictions. It could be codependency, things of those nature. This is particularly what you have to let go of. These ties that bind you. And again, I feel like this has to do with your own personal development. You see how he's like got these strings with this guy right here. I feel like there are certain things that are holding you back. There are certain things that are tying you down that you need to let go of. For some of you, it has to do with other people. A lot of you tend to be led by the emotions of other people or very heavily affected by the emotions or the energy of other people. To the point where it's almost like these people have you on a string. And that's what you've got to let go of. That's why you've got to set those boundaries so that you're not anybody's puppet or you're not anybody's plaything or anything like that. You get me? All right. Let's keep it moving. What else we got here? All right. Ooh. We've got death and rebirth. So you guys are going through some heavy stuff right now. And not heavy in the sense that it's bad. It's just that you guys are shedding skin. I'm getting in my mind's eye, I'm getting the picture of a snake shedding its skin. And that's sort of the process that you guys are undergoing right now. You guys are dying to your old selves and you're shedding a lot of the things that aren't serving you and that are keeping you tied down. Because when you're in this energy, you're not able to manifest because you're at the mercy of someone else. You're shedding that skin, particularly as the sun is in your first house of self right now. And it's been since last month, right? But right now in particular, I'm getting that a lot of you are shedding your old skin. A lot of you are addressing addiction. A lot of you are addressing low vibrational habits, self-limiting behaviors that just aren't serving you, which is good. Now it's gonna bring up some intense emotions. I don't know, did I, was I tongue tied when I said that? <laughs> Sounded weird. It's going to bring up a lot of intense emotions, particularly feelings of regret and sadness. You guys are used to this, but it's almost like every time I see this card, it reminds me of sort of water running down a drain. Let it go and let it go for good. Yes, those emotions are gonna come up, that's natural, but don't wallow in that. You gotta keep it moving, you gotta keep it pushing. It's, it's your birthday season number one, right? And even beyond that, it's a new year. I don't know about you, but when my birthday rolls around, you know, right after, don't you feel like a new person? Don't you feel like you want to conquer new things, do new things, achieve new goals? Like, don't get lost in this. I, I know it's difficult because Pisces, you guys feel a lot, but don't get lost in this sort of energy. Don't wallow in it. Right, and we've got the eight of cups, right? So we're definitely walking away. So this is good. I see a progression. So a lot of you are not wallowing in this. A lot of you are sort of leaving those emotions, leaving all of that negativity in the past and moving forward. You see how it's almost like this bowl, it's almost like it ignites something within her that gets her to get up, move, and walk towards the rising sun. Because you see in this first picture, she's sort of sitting there looking at these cups, looking at all of this, what could have been. And she's like, nope, I'm walking away from all of that. So good. So I see a lot of you are not, are taking my advice and you're not just sitting there wallowing in it, regretting and thinking about the past. You're actually taking steps towards the future, which is good. And the future is looking very bright as this card depicts. I like that for you. All right, got some more cards out here. It's perfect, I only need two more. All right, ooh, we've got the world. So yes, you've completed a cycle. There's a lot of ending and beginning energy for you. Like I said in the beginning part of the video, you know, it's alpha to omega, right? But now you're going from omega to alpha. The cycle has completed, you've leveled up, provided that you've done the work and that you've released the things that no longer served you. And now you can get to work. I like this. This is working towards what you believe in, working towards what you want. Like you've turned the corner. You've definitely turned the corner. For some of you, there is a cycle of work that is ending, like whatever you do for work, like your career, a job. Some of you may have an ending to a job. And if you do, it's a good thing because whatever this job was, I don't think it was right for you. I think that it was rife with negative energy. It was holding you back. 
And so now is the time to move forward towards a new job, a new career path. For some of you, it may be a business, but I feel like for the most part, you guys have your emotions in check. I feel like a lot of you are going to be doing that work to release what no longer serves you emotionally speaking, and it's going to free you up to actually get some shit done. You know, I know, like I said, I'm a Pisces moon, so I know what it's like to get wrapped up in your emotions and how it can be debilitating in terms of doing like your regular day-to-day -day stuff, right? When you're feeling heavy emotions, when you're really going through some shit, it's very hard to get up and go to work and do everything with a smile on your face or even do anything at all, right? But I feel like you guys have conquered that or you soon will conquer that. And again, it's going to be time to get to work. I love this energy for you. This is giving me very much like butterfly vibes, meaning it's this transformation that you've undergone and you've went through that dark cycle, being in that chrysalis, right? And developing yourself. And there's still some development to go, right? But you've sort of gotten over the hump and now you're in a better place. So March is looking very good for you. It's looking up, things are looking up. And speaking of look, look for a sign. Particularly as it pertains to your career or your job, I feel like you're going to, you're gonna find a sign or you're gonna experience something that's gonna tell you which direction to go with respect to work, right? So keep your eyes open. Let's see what we got at the bottom of the deck. Oh, I love this energy for you. It's the sun. The sun comes out after the rain. Again, I feel like you guys have gotten over the hump. I feel like you guys um, are now going to be able to enjoy your time in the sun. And right under that, we've got the full card, which is about new beginnings. So again, you guys have completed a cycle. You've turned a corner. You've shaken off this devil energy, this negative energy, and now you're able to move forward and get to work on what it is that you really want to do. All right, Pisces? So things are looking good. Even if you're in the thick of it now, I need you to know that things are going to get better. And I'm not just saying this as some like corny, you know, spiritual, oh, things will be good. Look at for the silver lining. I'm not saying that. I'm saying that because that's what I see in the cards, like literally. And that's what I'm being told with respect to you. Again, provided that you did the work. If you haven't done the work, if you're sort of wallowing in that negative energy, I have news for you. This is where you're going to stay. You're going to stay in this negative energy. You're going to stay tied down and in bondage. So the choice is yours. But if you choose to do the work, if you choose to let go and unburden yourself of these addictions, codependency, you know, like I mentioned before, I think that things are going, I don't, I don't think. Let me rephrase that. Things are going to be better for you and you're going to have your time in the sun. All right. Let's close out this reading with three astrology cards for you, my beautiful Pisces. All right. First card out we have is Quincunx. And what does this say? This says complexity. All right. So it says irritates, puzzles, mystifies, complicates, contradicts, clashes, misses the mark requires translation, adjusts, makes curious, educates, and transforms. Transforms, you already know, this is the death and rebirth card. But I really think that this has to do with this devil energy. It's not so straightforward, right? I feel like there is a complexity to, to this bondage that you're in. And it's going to require a lot of sorting out on your part, right? And again, that's why you've got to put these boundaries up so that you don't further entwine yourself in this sort of energy. But I'm not trying to make this, this, this card right here, the reason why this card came out is because I don't want you to think that I'm just saying it's an easy and linear process. It's not. Like I said before, it's cyclical. Once you complete one level, you're on a new level New level, new devil, right? There are new issues to conquer. There's new work to do. And it's not by any means simplistic or linear, but it's doable. And I say that because I see you guys doing it. And I say, I see you guys coming out of this darkness and into the light, all right? Let's get two more cards here. Okay, we've got, ooh, North Node, Destiny. This is where you're destined to go. This is your North Star, following your North Star. Some of you need to look at your natal chart and see where your North Node is and in what sign it is. And I feel like that may be the sign you need with respect to where you need to go for work and what you need to be doing 
next in this new cycle that you're in. All right. So don't forget to check that out. If you don't know, if you don't have your natal chart, if you don't know where your North node is, go to a site like astro.com and I'll put the link in the description box below so you can check that out and read all about it. All right. One last card here. Okay, perfect. Ooh. We've got your ascendant, okay? And this is all about your first house. Again, where you have this extreme emphasis this month. Your outlook on life is going to change as a result of the work that you're doing. When you're in this devil energy and when you're in bondage, it's almost like you're seeing out of someone else's eyes, right? Because they're the ones that are pulling the strings. They're the ones that are manipulating you. Now it's like you're going to have a fresh outlook on life because you're finally free. You've let go of what's unburdened you. You've worked on yourself. You've shed that skin like a snake, right? And in turn, you've become wiser and you have a fresh set of eyes uh, with which to look at the world. And so it's almost like a rebirth for you. And this is death and rebirth, right? Everything just ties together. So enjoy this time, Pisces. Like I said, if you're still going through some hardship, know that um, it's almost over. It's definitely almost over. And I feel like you guys are going to be better for it. And again, you can start this new revolution around the sun on a new foot with a new outlook and with um, a fresh set of eyes, like I said before, and just more positivity. I feel like you guys are being reborn. So enjoy this time. You've earned it. All right, Pisces, that has been your astro forecast and tarot scope for the month of March 2021. I sincerely hope that you were able to get at least one important message from this reading. Speaking of readings, if you'd like to book a personal reading with me or order an astrology report, those links are in the description box below. So don't forget to check those out. And while you're checking things out, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Divine Feminine Works. Every week I do a series called The Week Ahead where I do a reading just like this. It's a quick and dirty astro forecast and tarot reading for the upcoming week so follow me there so you don't miss any of that great stuff as always pisces everything i do is a labor of love and come straight from the bottom of my heart if you feel so inclined i don't think that was my heart this was more my throat but you know what i mean <laughs> If you feel so inclined and would like to tip me by buying me a coffee and trust and believe tips are always greatly appreciated. I'll leave that link in the description box as well. Pisces, my loves, again, happy birthday. Celebrate life. Thank you so much for watching my video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, and I will see you next time.